Your calendar is open. Your unread email count is rising. Message alerts are pinging. You have three documents open on your desktop with deadlines to meet. Alerts popping up. And you stop to send a quick text and wait. Wait, there's more. Like being a dad, a friend, mentor, wife, grandma. Sounds familiar? <laughs> Chronic stress. It seems to be our modern day birthright, handed down to us by the high tech, fast paced, success driven society we live in. We are more connected with the world around us than ever in our history, constantly bombarded with distractions from all directions at lightning speeds. There's no slowing it down, and this has adverse effects on our bodies. But how connected are we with our bodies? What kind of relationship are you having with your body? When was the last time you disconnected from your busy to reconnect with your body? Now I'm going to say this one more time, so I want you to listen closely. I need you to hear this. When was the last time you disconnected from your busy to reconnect with your body? It sounds simple. But we humans complicate things, always keeping one finger on a pressure button and one finger on a panic button. We are multitasking with the help of multimedia while becoming more multi-distracted with what's going on in our own bodies and the results can be devastating, robbing you what's also your own birthright, your best health, mental harmony, and quality of life. But let's face it, it's a noisy world out there. And although the body speaks all the time, we may not always hear what it is saying. Listening to your body takes practice. But believe me, it has a voice. Now, I'm not talking about the chatter that's going on between your ears where your conscience is arguing about what you should be doing, like, Man, I need to go to the gym to lose some of my love handles. <laughs> or, nah, let's stay home, binge watch Netflix, munch some chips, I'll go tomorrow instead. <laughs> Rather, it's the voice that comes in the form of symptoms that are your signals. And if you're not listening to those signals, a multi-life can easily lead to an unhealthy life. A life where one day, you wake up, bang, something's just not right. We realized we've been spending our time telling our bodies what we think instead of listening to what our body's telling us. Ignoring warning signs of a casual, nah, it's never gonna happen to me, I'm okay, really. Or worse, I'm okay, I'll just pop these pills, numb the pain. Unfortunately, it often takes a crisis to cause us to change. I was a co-founder of three pharmacies, constantly hearing patients complain that their lives were forever changed. Some ended up with limited mobility from a heart attack or stroke. Others complained about the drastic lifestyle changes like their eating habits or going to the gym. And don't get me started on the complaints of the high cost associated with it. As for myself, I'm no different. I'm guilty. I was so focused on my business that I ignored the signals my body was sending. It was talking, but I wasn't listening. My signals, frequent urination, restless days, low energy, I ended up diagnosed a pre-diabetic with a high risk of developing other cardiovascular diseases. I was scared. This was my crisis that caused me to change. But at that point, 
I had lost any kind of relationship I might have had with my body, constantly ignoring the signals it was sending. I'm not special here. It seems to be something us humans do. We wait for a crisis, a trauma, a loss, or a disease before we get down to looking at how we are living and making a commitment to change. Why wait for a health scare? Instead, let's live by listening, listening to the signals our body is sending us. Why not create a wellness bond with your body? A two-way conversation that will bond you together in a life that is well-balanced, well-organized, well-nourished, and well-disciplined. A relationship that will help you disconnect from your busy to reconnect with your body. But this is where it gets tricky because it's not complicated. And being the humans we are, we seem to have made wellness into this overwhelming task. Our multi-lives have multi-complicated wellness into being slim, fit, happy, energetic, attractive, strong, and overly optimistic. <laughs> Rather than just having sound physical and mental health. So let's keep it simple. What would you say if I told you that asking your body four simple questions a day and you take in one minute, 60 seconds, to listen to your body answer each of those questions could change your life. When we learn to listen closely, we create a bond with our bodies that could save your life. Bond, B-O-N-D, stands for balance, organized, nourished, and disciplined, and make up the four questions you need to ask your body to start that two-way conversation. So number one is balanced. How well balanced is your sleep-wake cycle last night? Do you feel rested today, or are you dragging your feet because you binge watch your favorite Netflix show, or perhaps you stayed up late to finish that report? Sleep is the most underrated health habit in our current culture we need to change. Now, how does the body signal you're not getting enough sleep? Your eyes don't look good. They're red, puffy, dark circle, bags underneath. You can gain weight. You feel moody, mentally exhausted. Memory and focus feels fuzzy. These are some of the signals your body wants you to listen to so you'll get more sleep. Number two is organized. How well organized are your life priorities? Were some of your needs on top of your priority list today? Or have you multitasked yourself to the bottom of the list? Living your life by putting other needs above yours can lead to feeling of resentment that can cause damage to the body. Resentment can cause wounds that can leave you with lasting feelings of anger, sadness, and bitterness. These feelings can lead to anxiety, stress, and hostility, high blood pressure, a weakened immune system, just to name a few. The question to ask yourself is, was I on a priority list today, and how did it make me feel? But if, but if the answer is yes, and you did put yourself on a priority list today, how did it make you feel? Did you feel guilty? Did you feel selfish? because that's not true. This is where the age of adage comes in about putting on the oxygen mask on yourself first so you're in fine form to help others. Number three is nourished. How well nourished is my body and brain? Both require feeding to thrive and grow. How thoughtful are you about your food choices? When the world is a menu, are you ordered from the good for my body section or from the, I know it doesn't make me feel well, makes me tired and bloated, but I love how it tastes <laughs> section. <laughs> what kind of thoughts did I feed my brain today? 
like psychology today says, happy brain, happy life. Happy brains are more quicker, creative, and more mentally alert. Negative thoughts are like predators that see your happy as prey. They stalk your happy, wanting to devour it, and replace it with a destructive, slow-moving, mental sabotage and feeding frenzy that leaves you feeling depressed, anxious, and sick. Ask yourself, what kind of food did I feed my body and brain today? And how did it make me feel? Did I make my self-talk work for me or against me today? Number four, discipline. How well disciplined am I with keeping my commitments to myself? The promise you make to yourself are the most important to keep. It is often how we measure our credibility, integrity, and worth. When we break a promise to ourselves, we can start to view ourselves as unreliable, untrustworthy, undeserving. No one feels good in mind and body when surrounded by those feelings. Ask yourself, did I keep my promise to myself today? And how did it make me feel? We all have 24 hours in a day, and changing your daily routine will change your life. Starting today, add the four questions into your routine to start that two-way conversation for a better relationship with your body. Ask yourself, am I choosing to have a well-balanced, well-organized, well-nourished, well-disciplined daily life? Commit to the bond. Commit to being balanced, organized, nourished, and disciplined. Commit by disconnecting from your busy and reconnect with your body. Four minutes a day, it could save your life. <laughs>